How is it going, everyone? We have a bit of an update on Alan Wake 2. Not a great update, given that uh, the game has been delayed. Uh, uh, thankfully, it's not a significant delay, and honestly, it might be a little bit better in the grand scheme of things, uh, given that if you're a PlayStation owner, there's a little game coming out on October 20th that is going to be a gargantuan release called Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now, the game, uh, Alan Wake 2, is still coming out very close to Spider-Man 2, but you'll at least have a week to play Spider-Man 2 on October 20th, and then, you know, a week's time, like, if you're grinding on Spider-Man 2, you get a weekend in, I think a lot of people are honestly gonna be finished with the game in a week. Like, let's be real here. For us nerds, we're probably gonna finish Spider-Man 2, um, maybe a week, week and a half, and that'll let us jump into Alan Wake 2 if we want. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of other people that are gonna go for the Platinum Trophy, and it'll be a more sizable experience, but even with Spider-Man 1, the Platinum Trophy wasn't that, uh, lengthy to get, but Spider-Man 2 does look like a significantly larger game, so we'll see how it turns out. For me, personally, with Spider-Man 2 coming out, I definitely am gonna want a different style of experience to play alongside that. Um, you know, big open world games, generally speaking, I don't like to just play that game, uh, straight, but, you know, I'll definitely play Spider-Man 2 for a week, and then when Alan Wake 2 comes out October 27th, I'll probably just start juggling both, because I am incredibly excited about Alan Wake 2. So, Epic Games Publishing and Developer Remedy Entertainment have delayed Alan Wake 2 from its previously planned October 17th release date by 10 days to October 27th. It'll obviously be available on PS5, Xbox Series, and PC via the Epic Game Store. Remedy noted, October is an amazing month for game launches, and we hope this date shift gives more space for everyone to enjoy their favorite game. We can't wait to show you what everyone's favorite novelist is up to in a dark place at Gamescom 2023 next week. Thanks for your patience. Now, it is interesting if this delay is just done from a standpoint of, um, you know, just looking at the calendar and deciding to release it on October 27th. I don't know if that's the case. That seems a little strange just because you're still coming out in the midst. Like, bro, you ain't escaping October. You coming out in October, you're gonna have to put up a fight you're gonna have to be a good game because you're going up against spider-man 2 assassin's creed mirage is there lords of the fallen is there sonic superstars is there mario is coming out on the switch it is just a packed month for game releases and that's just off the top of my head no amount of 10 day delays is gonna save you from the gargantuan competition that you have in october so maybe this is also an element of they just need a little extra time to finish up you know a couple of things i don't know remember that this is a digital only release so it's not like they have to go through the process of printing it on onto discs or anything like that so it will be interesting to see how all of that shakes out the game notes a string of ritualistic murders threatens Brightfall, a small town community surrounded by Pacific Northwest Wilderness. Saga Anderson, an accomplished FBI agent, arrives to investigate. Meanwhile, Alan Wake, a lost writer trapped in a nightmare beyond our world, writes a dark story in an attempt to shape the reality around him and escape his prison. Anderson and Wake are two heroes on two desperate journeys in two separate realities connected at heart in ways neither of them can understand. Trapped in a sinister horror story where there are only victims and monsters, can they break out to be the heroes they need to be? solve a deadly mystery. What begins as a small town murder investigation rapidly spirals into a nightmare journey. Uncover the source of the supernatural darkness and the psychological horror story. Filled with intense suspense and unexpected twists, Alan Wake 2 obviously introduces another playable character in Saga Anderson. An accomplished FBI agent with a reputation for solving impossible cases arrives to investigate murders in the small town community of Bright Falls. Anderson's case spirals into nightmare when she discovers pages of a horror story that starts to come true around her plays two characters characters, Alan Wake and Saga Anderson. I know some people are a little bit, you know, uh, not crazy about that. They just want to play as Alan Wake, hence the name of the game, Alan Wake. But uh, we'll see how Saga is implemented into the story. Could be something that is worthwhile to go through and see events unfold from diff a different perspective. Switch between Anderson's life or death race to solve the case and Wake's desperate attempts to rewrite his reality to escape the depths of the dark place and explore two worlds, experience two beautiful yet terrifying worlds, each with its own rich cast of characters and deadly threats discovered majestic landscapes of Cauldron Lake in the Pacific Northwest and idyllic towns of Brightfall and watery contrasting sharply attempt to escape the nightmarish cityscape of the dark place, survive with light with limited resources, take on powerful supernatural enemies in desperate close combat situations. It takes more than just a gun to survive. Light is the ultimate weapon in the fight against the darkness and will be your refuge when enemies threaten to overwhelm you. 
Again, scheduled for an October 17th release. It is delayed until October 27th right now. Bear in mind, it will be on PS5, Xbox Series, and PC. The PC release, because the game, while being developed by Remedy Entertainment, Epic Games is handling all of the publishing for the game. This is tailored to be an Epic Game Store exclusive to really push that storefront. I would never expect this game to come out on Steam because Epic Games is doing the publishing. Unless Epic Games completely changes their philosophy on how they want to handle the Epic Game Store, I would expect this to very much much be an Epic Games Store only title um, until, you know, EGS, they decide to change their game plan on how they want to approach things, but the fact that this game is being published by them leads me to believe that this game is going to be EGS exclusive, and that I'm fine with just because, yo, Epic Games is the reason that Alan Wake 2 is ultimately happening. If they want to keep it on their storefront, that is their prerogative. It's when they throw seven, eight-figure checks at other publishers to keep timed exclusives, and let's be real, Sony does that with the Final Fantasy 16. I'm not a fan of that. If you want to handle the full publishing of the game, then you have complete authority to do whatever you want. It's when you are throwing away, when you're throwing seven, eight figures at uh, companies and being like, don't put it on this platform or this storefront. I'm just like, okay, that's a little bit uh, questionable there. Now, the game itself is also not a $70 title. While you have a lot of games, a Spider-Man 2 going the $70 route, Alan Wake 2 will be $49.99 on PC and $59.99 on consoles. Hopefully that does incentivize people to buy the game. However, this is also being done because this is a, a digital-only release. So there will be no physical release for Alan Wake 2. I know THQ Nordic came in, and because they handled, I believe, the publishing of some of Alan Wake's physical copies before, they were like, hey, we'll publish the game. I never saw Remedy or uh, Epic Games respond to that, so... I don't know if that's ever going to ultimately happen. Um, I think since Epic Games is handling the publishing of this game, you know, their main priority is to push the Epic Games Store storefront. And then also, obviously, they'll sell the game on PS5 and Xbox Series, and it'll do fairly well there. But that is something to consider. And I've honestly seen, and this might just be outcry on social media that isn't going to be indicative of how the final product does, but I've seen a lot of people be like, hey, that's a turnoff for me. Hey, I'm not going to buy Alan Wake 2 because there is no physical release. Again... There is going to be a vocal minority aspect attached to that, so who knows how that is going to extend to the overall, you know, reach of the game. There's a lot of people buying digital games that, at this point, like most people that are commenting on my videos. Like, let me know in the comment section down below, are you still buying physical games or are you sticking with primarily buying digital games, I should say? Um, and, you know, with the deals videos we cover with the PlayStation Store, those are all digital deals and uh, those videos do fairly well. Um, so, yeah, I do see more and more people moving to the digital side of things, especially with Xbox Series S, digital-only console, PlayStation 4 has a digital edition, so something to consider there. But right now, Alan Wake 2 scheduled for October 27th. Just a 10-day delay, but um, let us know how that is also going to impact your plans for that month of October with 80 million games coming out. Spider-Man 2, Assassin's Creed Mirage, Lords of the Fallen, which I'm kind of worried about Lords of the Fallen. Uh, I think that game is definitely going to be hurt just by the competition. But let me know in the comments section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.